All right, so we're at Dynamic Tint today, and we are gonna cover all of the different tints that you can get for your Tesla. Shades, rejection. Tyler here at Dynamic Tint, I've worked with him for years, so he's excellent at what he does. And what we've done is we've put the gradient of all of the different shades. This isn't all of them, there's still a 50 and a 70. So we'll start here, this is just clear, this is your stock Tesla glass from the factory. These are all ceramic tints, so Tyler only has ceramic tint here. And can you explain the difference, be, like we went from, I don't know, whatever was in tint before to now ceramic in yeah. rejection? So window tint now has ceramic base properties where before we had a lot of carbon based properties and in those films they were looking good they were doing their job in looks and privacy aspects but not heat reduction in arizona we need a lot of heat reduction where new ceramic films come in this light shade performs almost just as well as this limo because of the base material and starts rejecting heat you get up into the 98 percent of infrared heat which is what we feel right now when the sun's coming down on us, and then 99% UV. As far as the look, you can kind of pick your look, Correct. but get the same performance. The other thing to talk about is windshield tint. I just broke my windshield, so I don't have any tint on it right now, and I'm either gonna do a 50 or a 70. I had a 70 on here before ceramic. You should know it is illegal to tint your windshield, so no level is legal. The problem is it makes such a huge difference in the coolness of the car. So that's why I personally recommend getting probably a 70, that way you're getting the rejection. 50 does it even better. I had 50 on my M2 and that worked really well. We're gonna be putting probably, I might go 50 this time actually just to get... It's nice, it helps a lot more glare. Yeah, yeah, so it reduces the glare off of other cars, license plates and things like that. So I'm probably gonna go with a 50 this time, but just something to note is it, it's not legal. I doubt you're gonna get pulled over for that because it is very light. You can't, it's, you know, this is 35, yeah. right? So this is 35 and you can see how light that is. So imagine twice as clear as this. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but you guys know what I'm saying. 70 divided by two is 35. The other thing I wanna talk about, I know it's a pain to do the roof, but I've also seen comments of people saying, hey, I heard the, the roof will crack or is more likely to crack. Can you explain that? So it is already a low hanging roof. Yeah. So you are susceptible to rock chips. I mean, we see people break them just from rock chips. All these films are absorbing heat before it goes in. So your pane of glass is gonna be much hotter than without tint. Right. But inside, it's gonna be a lot cooler. So on the moon roofs, we only do 70 or 50 okay. just to keep the absorption rate lower. If you start to go into these darker colors, it retains more heat, which can possibly thermal crack, but we haven't had any issues right. with that. Okay. So yeah, there, you're increasing your chance, but you, your shop has personally not, no issues with that. No issues. Okay, cool. That's a good explanation of, of all of the different levels of tint. And then again, you know, I, what I like to say is there's a million places that can wrap your car, that can tint your car. There are these huge big shops with beautiful lights. The quality is hit or miss. That's why I recommend go to Dynamic Tint. There's a lot of good shops out there, but this one I can say for sure, everyone that comes here is happy. If something goes wrong, you would always take care of it. Like this is the guy. You're not We're like dealing. We'll yeah, take care of you're it. not dealing with someone. You don't know who the who the owner is and all that stuff. Onto the back of the car, I want to show you this. I don't know really regrets, but I just didn't know. So this might help new Tesla owners. So on the rear of Model Y glass, the glass comes dark from the factory. Offers very little to no heat rejection. It's just a look. And also the rear hatch of the car, the glass. It's the same thing. So I did 35 on the front. United Airlines. This ad is brought to you by United. You got United? I was gonna say, it's just gonna get louder. Just get, just gonna get worse. That's a big one. Now that that ad is over by United, we can continue. <laughs> so the rear is darker. So I did 35 in the front. The legal limit on the front in Arizona is 35. So that's what I did. Then in the back, I generally go darker for more heat rejection. So I went with 20. So I went with this in the rear of the car. What I didn't realize is this darkness compounds with the darkness that's already in the glass. So it's made it close to limo. I mean, it's, it's very dark. So I've even noticed looking out of the rear of my Model Y through the rear view mirror, it's, it's a little bit hard to see even in some daylight situations. So just something to keep in mind, I might recommend you do 35 all the way around because it will give you the darker look in the back, but then not be too dark. But again, that's just me. That's my, 
opinion on it. Everyone has different opinions and different needs. So just something I noted that I didn't know before owning the car. So a lot of you are sitting at a computer at work while you're supposed to be working, but you're watching me. Some of you are on the toilet right now with your ear pods in listening. So you can't feel the heat that we're currently standing in. So we brought some science to the channel here. So this is a BTU meter. I'll let Tyler explain what this does and we'll show you the differences from no tint to the darkest. So this measures basically heave wavelengths. When you point it directly at the sun, because it's kind of a cloudy day too, we're not getting it fully up to 100%, but it's at 80 when it comes to the heat wavelength. Then when you put it behind the tint, you can see it reduce it down to three. And then as we go across, shade does not make a big difference, like I said. So we're still getting incredible heat reduction. And then even with the clear glass, you can see it actually goes up. So you're getting some sort of infrared protection because even standing here, if I put my hand here, I can feel a lot more heat than if I put my hand right here. Another thing here, and I think a lot of Expel shops will probably have this device, oh, yeah. but if you come to Dynamic Tint, use this. Like the first time I came here, he blew my mind with this. So again, we'll show you this BTU meter. And there's no tricks behind this. They're all the same pane glass, everything. We just have them tinted. This puts off an extreme amount of heat. So you can see it goes immediately to high. This has no tint on it. Then when we spin this, it goes to a carbon-based tint, which is our older style tints, and it still stay high. And this is even in a dark shade. Then when you go to our newer ceramic films, this is our legal limit in Arizona. You see it's going to drastically reduce it. And then when we go to our XR Plus, this is our best performing window film, which what you were seeing outside, that drastically reduced it even more, giving you the best protection. Right. And this is an extreme case here. This this like this lamp being when you when there's no protection, like it actually could, could almost you burn, burn you burn right you, yeah. here. Yeah. So when you turn it here, you feel absolutely nothing. This is extreme, but out there you could see what the numbers were. It was like down to four on that thing. Yeah, three or four. Uh, yeah. So it, it's really impressive how it works in the real world. And it also has a ten year warranty on it. Lifetime on tint. Oh, it's light oh wow. Yeah, lifetime around the whole United States, any expelled dealers, there's a ton of us. You can go on the locator. If you ever had any issues and get anywhere in the US that's nice yep. what does a tint warranty mean Are you... tint warranty means like if it starts to peel okay. off the windows if it starts to fade if it starts to discolor or anything like that if you start unhooking your seatbelt off quick enough and it nicks it <laughs> it's not warranty yeah it's yeah. just it's just any defects of the manufacturer film. defects another thing that people are worried about when they talk about tint is when they picture tint they're like I don't want my car to change to be purple windows over time so can Correct. you explain that? Yeah, so these carbon-based films we're talking about, they were dyed. Dye means it can fade. Now with ceramic-based films, ceramic is gonna hold its color and it's gonna hold all its performance. So the good thing about these ceramic films is they do come with a lifetime warranty that actually does work really well. Yeah, and then also going with Expel, they're nationwide. So yep. let's say you get this done in Arizona and you move to Kansas. There's gonna be a shop somewhere there that they'll be able to get it done. And if there's a, uh, any issues. Any issues with it. Thank you for taking the time to do this with the car today. I really appreciate it. Guys, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll make sure to get back to everyone in this video. And I also have Dynamic Tint linked in the description so you guys can schedule PPF. You do wraps now, right? We can do wraps, tint, PPF, and ceramic coating. Right. Yeah, so with the ceramics, they do the paint correction, they lay the coat on, and I've seen some of the work. It's crazy. So yeah, we're doing some work on the Macan over there, so I'll be showing you that in a separate video. But Tyler, thanks again. I appreciate it. Like the video if this helped you out, and we'll see you next time. By the way, the Pink Pig is such a good name for the car, and the more I see the pink, it may never go away, or I may rewrap in different shades. So if you don't like pink, make sure to hit the unsubscribe button, because it may not be going away anytime soon.